What is the future of manufacturing frontline leadership training? I'm Greg Schenkel, president of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Training. And today we're gonna to use a slightly different format where I cover 10 of the most recent trends in frontline leadership training that you should be aware of and that we're aware of as we design our programs. Trend number one is the increasing use of technology. Now this could be the online platform. So for example, our frontline leadership on demand program where people can take the course on whatever device they want at whatever pace they want and they get the same high quality learning experience. There's also virtual reality simulations that can be embedded in training if that makes it more engaging for the learners. Trend number two is gamification of training. Now games are something that captivates lots of people, whether it's playing cards or board games and the old game night excitement. So we use some games in our training program in terms of a survival simulation, but we also look at different competitive elements inside the training that just capture the attention of the learners and they make those learning points stick. The third trend is a greater emphasis on soft skills training. Well, that's nothing new for us. We have always offered the Frontline Leadership Training Program, which covers all of the excellent soft skills courses that you might need in terms of communication and motivation and resolving conflict. The fourth trend is a shift towards continuous learning and professional development. Now we've noticed that our best customers are not just doing one training event and saying, well, that's it, we did it all, checking the box. They're actually looking at multi-stage, multi-phase programs over a period of months and sometimes even over a period of years. Really, your leaders need to come back to those learning concepts every year and practice some of the basics and then look at what new advanced topics they might be, find beneficial in their leadership approach. Tip number five or trend number five is really the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning. I don't have a lot to say about that, but you know with chat GPT and some of the techniques that are coming out, we see that that will be changing things. And of course, we'll always be scanning the horizon for how we can make use of those new tools in terms of our tool set that we provide to supervisors and team leaders. Uh, the sixth trend is really the use of data and analytics to judge the basically the effectiveness of the training program. Now, again, our customers will recognize the leadership behavior builder, which is part of our tool set so that once someone finishes a topic, they set a commitment to work on over the next one to four weeks, and the system actually checks in with them and measures their progress and generates a great set of data and a report for you so that you can see what the return on investment is. Trend number seven is personalized training programs specific to an individual supervisor's needs. And what that says is instead of maybe taking a full program with all the topics, people will want this idea of being able to select the topic that's of most interest to them. So we are looking at using our frontline leadership on demand library so that if your people just need a session on conflict management or communicating effectively, they can get that learning and not necessarily have to take all the other modules. That's coming soon. Um, number eight in terms of the trends is collaboration and networking opportunities so that people can learn for each other or from each other. And so what we find is that our clients are actually bringing supervisors from their different locations, but we also offer frontline leadership public workshops where people from different companies get together and learn the concepts. And I see that they really like to hear that other people are facing very similar challenges than they are, that they are, and you know some of the solutions that some of those people are employing. Inside your own business, it helps for supervisors from different sites to interact, which they can do easily either by bringing them together for training or by using the virtual training studio concept and having them connect from different locations in the company. Trend number nine is an uh, increased focus on sustainability and being environmentally responsible. We know that some clients, instead of us producing workbooks, will use a PDF or electronic versions of the workbooks. And I think we're eventually evolving. I know our frontline leadership on demand program uses downloadable concepts or tools that can ju just be completed online and you don't even necessarily have to consume paper by printing them out. The 10th and final trend to talk about in this leader feeder is the use of mentorship and coaching to support supervisors in their development. And so we're building in some of that and certainly we encourage an interaction between our 
course participants, the supervisors, and whoever their manager is. And we even provide the manager with a manager toolkit so that they understand all the key course concepts and some good open-ended questions to ask. Some of our clients take it a step further and get their supervisors together so that they can share, here's some of the things I've been trying and how it's working. And that might inspire someone else who also thought that was a good idea, but never actually got around to implementing it. It might inspire them to go ahead and give it a try. So those kinds of uh, peer groups can help with the learning over time. So these trends, we're on top of them as frontline leadership and unique training and development. And of course, if you're interested in bringing the latest and the greatest and the state of the art concepts to your organization, it really starts with the conversation. And that's at our website at uniquedevelopment.com. Or you can connect on one of the many social media platforms that we're active on, including LinkedIn and Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok. So Whatever it takes, let's have a conversation and a discussion about how we can bring the latest in frontline supervisory trends to developing the skills of your frontline supervisors and team leaders.